10 watt LED efficiency test take two and this time the LED I've tested beforehand and all nine chips are actually lighting evenly so that's a good start. However it's notable that this is a cold white LED and I don't know if it's just um, the spectral sensitivity of the unit uh, is I'm not 100% sure, but it just seems to be less efficient. It might just be a less efficient LED. But anyway, I lined this up and centred it up so I got the maximum um, output. And once I had it, I then stepped the current up in 100 milliamp, 200 milliamp steps. And as the current went up, the, um, the lux output, this is lux times 100, uh, went up too. And I logged it all, and here are the results. So I'll just push this stuff out of the way, I'll turn my meter off, shove it over there. The results read like this. And really surprising drop. The uh, I, Once again, if you, if you want to actually take a note of these readings, and uh, that's also the website that I use to actually do the uh, graphs online, but that's um, the information I got from it. Slightly higher forward voltage in this LED. So, during the test, the 10 watt LED, the voltage versus current, started off around about the sort of 100 milliamps. It started off about 9.5 volts and went up quite high to about um, best part of about 13 volts. In fact, uh, looking at the charge over there, by the time it got to 1 amp, it was at 13.11 volts, which equi was equivalent to about 13.11 watts dissipation. So, uh, most of these LEDs tend to be run at around about the 900 milliamp mark. Um, and at that, it was 12.83 voltage, which was still 11.55 watts. So that's the LED voltage versus current. This is the lux output, the light output versus wattage. And it rises, as you'd expect, but it actually falls away as it rises. You, it's not a nice linear straight line, as you might want. And when you actually see how it actually fell in the lux, the efficiency, the lux per watt, then it really did dramatically drop from the start. Um, at the lowest wattage, it was started off about just over 13,000 lux. Now let's see, what was that? It was 13,617 lux at the lowest um, level, which was just verging on one watt. And by the time it gone, got to the end, at 13 watts at the end of the test, um, it had dropped to 5,141 lux. That's dramatic. That's, that's verging on a third the efficiency at the end, certainly much less than half the efficiency. And the moral of the story is here that these LEDs seem to be, well, I don't know how, I don't know how linear this is. I don't know how accurate it is. It's a generic Chinese unit. But I know that LEDs do tend to fall off with efficiency the harder you drive them. And it's much more dramatic than I was expecting. So I think the approach I made of driving this light up here um, above the bench with uh, a 50 watt LED being driven by a 20 watt driver, I think that's actually a really good way to go with these because um, you are going to get more light than you'd get from a normal 20 watt LED and a 20 watt uh, light. Um, but um, it's going to draw roughly the same energy and the LED is going to last longer. So um, yeah, that was an interesting test.